Winters in Cottonwood Heights are beautiful, and snow in the mountains gives us great opportunities for outdoor adventures like skiing, sledding, and winter hikes. However, as we all know, snow in the valley can make driving extremely dangerous. Here's what the city of Cottonwood Heights is doing to make our streets safe and traversable during winter storms, and how you can help. We're here on Christmas morning where most people are enjoying a time with their families. We have guys out working. We've been prepared for, for this for probably about a week. We plan to come in starting at midnight on Christmas Eve and work all through Christmas until the storm is over. Right now we're at the old mill site where we have our salt storage and where we uh, take our snow plow operations out of this area here. Through the course of last year we, uh, we sat down with the city and we went through uh, every road that's in the city and we assigned it to a priority based on um, the city council's direction and uh, we came up with what constituted a, pr a priority one, a priority two, and a priority three, and then the rest of them would be the residential streets. A Fort Union would be a, a priority one. Any, any street that has a school on it is addressed as a priority two, uh, and priority threes are ma your main streets in and out of a neighborhood. Salt consumption is, is a huge thing. On a, on a good average storm that lasts a, a day or so, we can use up to 6,000 tons of salt to help keep the roads clear. The majority of that pile today, between today and tonight. One of the biggest hazards we find in, in plowing streets is the number of cars parked on the street. Uh, it's hard to get these big trucks and big plows around them. Uh, the city code requires that cars be off the street during any accumulation of snow. Uh, we encourage people to do that. Help us help you get around safely. Uh, nobody wants an accident, nobody wants wants a car that's been damaged by a plow or, or buried by a plow. We just would urge uh, the residents to get their vehicles off the road during a snow event. It makes it safer for everybody involved, for our citizens, for our plow drivers, for emergency responders. Along with parked cars, some of the obstacles plows and big trucks face is, is overhanging tree branches. Uh, city code requires that trees are trimmed 13 and a half feet above the street. That gives us plenty of room to work and to, to do what we need to do with plow streets. But when we, when we have trees that are overgrown, rather than damaging the trees, we have a tendency to move away from the curb and gutter and don't get as close as we should. We spend a lot of time maintaining and, and keeping trucks up and running all the time. Blades need to be changed periodically and, and that's what they're doing back here is some routine maintenance and, and making sure that the trucks are are uh, in good shape and ready to go. We've made a lot of changes since last year. One of the things that we've initiated is, is GPS tracking on all of the trucks. Uh, we can go in and check the maps and through the history of that truck, track each truck individually on where they've been from, from the moment they start the truck up. Uh, it checks speeds, it checks where they've stopped, how long they've stopped, things like that. Uh, when they're loading salt, we know they're there loading salt because of the location they're at. It's also a good way to keep track of how many roads have been done and what has been missed or still to be done. Uh, it's easy to go in and create a history of, of each individual truck. Right now we have 18 trucks out plowing in the city. Uh, it makes us more efficient in what we do as well. We don't backtrack looking for roads that are missed. We, we can see that just by, just by the maps that we have. Be courteous, uh, be respectful of, of your neighbors, of the snowplow drivers, of the motoring public, and please don't park on the roads during snow events.